While in the merry month of June, from me home I started, left the girls of two whom nearly broken hearted saluted father dear, kissed me darling mother, drank a pint of beer, me grips and fear to smother. Then after it, the corn to leave where I was born, cut the star black horn to banish ghosts and goblins and a brand new pair of roads. I rattle about the bugs and I frighten all the dogs on the rocky road to Dublin. One, two, three, four, five, hunt her hair and turn her down the rocky road and all the ways to Dublin. Walk for love. In Maliga that night I raised your limbs so weary Sorted by daylight next morning light And Eric took a drop of the pure Give me a heart from sinking, that's the petty's cure Whenever he's on for drinking to see the last you smile Laughing all the while at me curious style To set your heart bubbling me asked if I was high on the wages I required Till I was almost high up the rack Hi guys well, um, as you may know, and um, you may have seen me several times with um, Swiss Army knives, which are renowned for their great quality and uh, for their versatility. And I have no troubles considering one of those small knives as a full survival uh, tool. If used with the right knowledge and techniques, it can be really, really uh, a lifesaver. Plus, due to the small size and general laws, which, which may differ from a country to another, um, this is the easiest way to always keep with you a small knife and have something that is capable of helping you in the harshest environments. Now, well, um, why? Because, sorry, uh, I spend most of my time doing survival and bushcraft I wanted to have something that was less uh, plastic and more you know natural um, feel and I found something that I wanted to test for a long time um, which are the Wenger line uh, wood wooden line these are standard finger knives with wooden scales made out of um, walnut wood. So it's uh, they, they are made uh, with respect for the environment. Um, as they are all all made out of wood, they have all uh, a difference in the the grain of the wood that you can see. Um, and well, today I will not make the review uh, the same way I do my reviews for uh, fixed blade knives because you no know, battening or stuff like that can be done. But um, when I use a knife that has a saw, uh, I don't really need to uh, to try battening because I know ways to um, use less uh, effort and other uh, techniques so that you don't put too much stress on your small knife uh, so that it can help you for as long as you are in a survival situation without having to worry about it to break or uh, something like that. Now, um, some things I'm gonna say now about small knives. Um, I've always been a great fan of um, my first uh, survival knife, if I can call it that way, I received when I was was about 10 years old, uh, which was a Ranger made by Wenger, um, pretty much the old version of this one that did have uh, a pair of pliers in it, uh, which was a really great um, knife that I've used uh, in, in the Indonesia, in Asia, when I was traveling. and. Well, it's still uh, with me pretty much all the time. Not today, sadly, I forgot it in my um, go bag, bushcraft bag. So I will talk a bit about that. But first, my considerations uh, in a knife that could be used for survival situations and applications is that if you have a folding knife, um, <clears throat> I want to have a saw because I cannot um, use it for battening. I will use it for making other uh, chores, but having a saw on it is an excellent thing. Now, I will review all the, the bits and parts of that knife later on, uh, but the other tool I'd like to have on a survival knife, which can also help a lot, is an awl. 
um, this one has an awl as well um, the other one too but all my knives that I use and consider that are suitable for survival have a main blade an awl and a saw blade these are the most important tool I, tools I want to have with me when I go out on a trip for survival training or uh, for my everyday carry. Now, the two knives I'm gonna uh, review and test and present today are uh, both knives with uh, wooden scales made uh, out of walnut, made by um, Wenger, the Swiss, uh, one of the, the two most famous Swiss, brand, uh, Swiss Army knives brands. Um, well, no, it's not one of the two uh, most famous, it's one of the two Swiss, uh, Swiss Army knife style blades. And well, I still love Wenger a lot. And now that I have had that one in my hands, uh, I can just say that I love them even more because I'll talk to you a bit more about that but they feel really great when you are looking for something more natural more uh, in the mindset of bushcraft and having less plastic more natural stuff uh, and this is an excellent example of what I'm looking for and what I know a lot of bushcrafters are looking for as well plus you have the the Swiss quality of those Wenger knives which is excellent and well I think I've talked way enough about that so this one uh, the bigger one which is uh, the Ranger Wood 57 um, is what I will consider like a bigger uh, outdoor bushcraft knife that I will bring with me every time I get out in the woods on my person so if for any reason I uh, lose my fixed blade or if I want another secondary blade or even if I go only with one knife, uh, one folding knife, this will be it because it has a larger blade, um, it has a larger saw and it has pretty much everything I would need in a survival situation. The other one I will talk about in a few minutes is the Evo Wood 17. And the Evo Wood 17, that is all new, is way smaller, don't worry, you'll have uh, pictures about that in a few seconds and more specific um, and technical data. But this is something that I consider a great bushcrafter EDC knife that you can have at all time with you uh, that will be suitable for traveling in most parts of the world because it does not have a locking blade. Uh, it does have the saw, it does have an awl, and of course in Switzerland we have a kind of, uh, you know, culture and customs um, with, in relationship with wine, so having a corkscrew is always an excellent thing uh, in Switzerland because, yeah, it can get to survival when you can't open um, a, a bottle of wine because you don't have any corkscrew with you, but enough kidding. Now I will get you and show you more uh, the details of both of these knives. Okay, so the Ranger Wood 55 sports a really nice long blade, which is really usable out in the wild, plus it's secured, so you won't have it close onto your fingers. Uh, you have a nice jimping on the back of the blade. Here, hope you can see that. Here, a uh, really nice feature so that you are sure uh, your thumb won't slip on the... Um, excuse me, I'm just trying to set the focus back. E Okay, so anyway, um, you have that nice feature. Uh, the button, as I've said, is under the Swiss logo. You then have the most useful tool when you only have a Swiss Army knife. It's the saw, and the saw allows you to perform all the 
tasks um, a blade would not be sufficient to do. So I will show you probably in another video uh, how to split wood when you can't pattern your knife. Uh, it's an excellent saw. Uh, the back of the saw I use for scratching my, uh, scraping my first heel works really well. The saw is amazing and it's the longest saw I was able to find uh, on the market when it comes to uh, Swiss Army knives. Uh, <clears throat> excellent saw, excellent. Now other tools you have, you have a uh, multi-tool screwdriver uh, with a wire breaker, stripper, uh, bottle opener and flathead screwdriver that has a kind of security when you excuse me if I show that on a screw it works better here you see you probably won't see but when you apply pressure on it the screwdriver the head goes into the body of the knife and you can't close it by accident so it's an excellent feature when you need to apply force and you don't want to uh, do what I've just done trying to do that but uh, having tested that it's really secure and it works re really well. Other tools you have is the can opener works really well. Uh, excellent design, I love those made by Wenger. Uh, they are really sharp uh, and they will have uh, the jobs done really easily so no worries about that excellent piece of um, tool you have here. Now the two last tools you have here are the awl, uh, a nice nice awl you can see here with the hole um, to do repairs, holes in everything you might have to, excellent tool to have with you at all time and this is a typical survival tool as I've maybe already said uh, if you have a bottle of Swiss wine but no corkscrew you in deep trouble so always a good thing to have that plus you can store a small screwdriver uh, they have some models I've seen that online so you can just slip it on it if you are wearing glasses um, for view. Uh, this might be an excellent addition to your kit so that you are sure you can tighten the screws on the hinges. Um, so it's pretty much all you have seen the nice grain of the wood. I'm probably too close for a focus here. Uh, a nice in engraving here. Um, I don't know how it's done. Maybe laser, maybe um, drilled I don't really know nice logo excellent wood handle made out of walnut as I've said so you have all the tools the basic tools you might need uh, in a survival situation so it's uh, a great thing uh, a great piece of kit now let's talk a bit about the excuse me for the noise uh, a bit about the other one I'm gonna try to stay closer here Okay, here you've got the little brother that sports a really nice um, finger uh, nail file with the tip to <laughs> clean your nails, but also you have several applications like lighting uh, several types of uh, Swedish matches, those that you can um, scrape on stone on the wall or something like that. Um, here of course the nice small blade, this one is great because you have a nice, pretty much the most important uh, equipment you might, might need in a survival situation, but in a package that is uh, pretty much allowed everywhere around the world because it's not locking so but it's strong enough so you can use it without any worries then you have a nifty little tool here which is the pair of scissors they work really well I'm not sure you will see that I'm gonna try to zoom in here can you see 
the small teeth you have on the inside so that they really cut well when you are doing your uh, cutting tasks, main cutting tasks. It works like a charm. Uh, excellent tool to have for um, various applications out in uh, the bushes. Here is the saw, smaller saw, but as you can see, it's a decent size for uh, this kind of small pocket knife. You will always have a small saw with, with you, so you are safe. You can do a lot of stuff with just that saw. It's as good as on the Ranger Wood uh, 55. Excellent thing. Then you have, uh, of course, same tools as before. A small flathead screwdriver with wire stripper here, a wire breaker, and the bottle opener and the can opener, same as the other one. On the other side, this one has the logo engraved, as so, here. As you can see, nice grain on the wood, nice finger logo, great feel, excellent knife in the hand uh, as well for its really small size. So now you have um, an idea of the whole, uh, the whole knives and I'm gonna try to make the um, the rest of the test showing you a bit more about how they work and well enjoy see you in a few seconds guys okay so the first thing i'd like to check with my knives is the ability to strike sorry for the make noise uh, uh a nice shower of sparks out of my fire steel so here you see, I take the back of the saw blade because it's really squ squared off and I just put my finger on, not right on the top of the, um, the teeth, but just after, pretty much on the side. And here you can really have some excellent spark to light your fire, so it's not a problem using the small Evo Wood um, 17 and on the larger one same thing you have a strong shower of sparks here and I must say those two saws have a good and especially on the uh, Ranger Wood 55 you have a really strong spring so it won't fold over uh, your fingers but for security I always keep you know just a bit of the pulp of my um, thumb on top so now you find yourself in a survival situation and you need to make something like a pointed uh, stick or a spear so I will begin with the smaller one I have a piece of hazel here um, Compared to the size of the braid, it's pretty oversized, but I will go, no, I won't, will not go too hard on the blade in here, uh, <clears throat> but it cuts right through without any troubles. Yep, here. The blade is pretty thin on this one. It's not a problem at all. Just, you want to use it, um, the right way and don't be too harsh on it so making a quick spear doesn't look like much trouble for that knife um, you can really bite into the wood with that blade probably you can also use it it's a bit more for that technique, but it works. It works well. Also, so ten stakes will not be 
a problem for that nifty little knife. So here you have, well, I could do that way better. Just don't want to spend too much time right now. Uh, excellent. So it would be the same for carving a figure four trap or other kind of, of traps. Now what I want to see is the saw on that very knife so that I can try then the other uh, knife here Okay, so see, it can already saw um, good sizes. Um, I could probably notch uh, pieces way bigger than that without any doubt. But here I wanted to have some room. It works perfectly uh, for sewing, and the saws on these knives are just awesome. So excellent to have with you if you have only a smaller blade like this. Now, the big brother. So here I have the spike of the first one. Now here I have just a knot, so I will do the opposite. Try the saw first, so that I can avoid that knot. And then do my uh, spear point. So. struggling holding it well <laughs> but I'm halfway more than halfway through okay so see how uh, that quick was uh, how quick that was it's uh, it's also an excellent blade and because of the bigger length you have on it you will be able to cut bigger pieces of wood but this is pretty much the size and diameter that I would use in a survival situation if I have to make something uh, like an emergency shelter, a spear or stuff like that. Talking about spears, let's do... Here, this one is of the good size for uh, cross chest cutting also because of the size and because of the wide base you can uh, do finer cutting tasks with more control and less fatigue in your arms resting it against your um, leg bone now. Just trying. Okay, so this is not a work of art, it's uh, a quick spear, but <clears throat> it can get the jobs done, the job done really easily with that blade. Excellent blade, they are coming razor sharp out of the box, so it's an excellent thing. Uh, as it doesn't have any serrations, it's excellent for uh, quick resharpening. Well, no worries about those knives, uh, those blades are sturdy and this one especially is about I'd say twice the size and the thickness of the other one, um, the Evo wood. So well, don't need to try that uh, further, it just works how it's supposed to. So excellent, excellent blade 
and you will do pretty much any kind of chores uh, that you want. Okay, now if you find yourself uh, stranded out in the wild and have to start a fire, the question is would it be possible to make uh, feather sticks with those blades? Important thing for a survival situation. Here. I'm getting excellent curls in here, which is an excellent sign. Just getting used to the angle of the grind. Well. Here, as you see, the curls are doubled and they are really thin so it will help you to have a fire started uh, using the ranger wood. Now let's see how it works and performs with the smaller brother. The Evo wood 17. This is even better. See how thin they are. This will take without any worries if you only have a fire steel or stuff like that. So it's excellent at making feather stick, which is a great advantage of having a small blade, capable blade like this one every time, any time on your person. So guys, now that I've tested those uh, two knives, which are excellent, what I can say here is that in those two little knives you have pretty much any tool uh, that you will or may need in a survival situation. Um, something else I can say is that for all of those who like to have something less plastic and more natural, more classy, more bushcraft oriented, you have two exceptional knives, uh, Swiss Army knives here, that will get the job done, that will uh, perform really well, help you probably in a bad situation. And something I can say is that the smaller one here performs really well for its size. Uh, you will have the most important tools anytime on your person. Um, you can have it on, in most countries around the world because it's a non-locking blade, but it will be able to help you out. Uh, or, you know, it's. I think it's a perfect EDC for a bushcrafter or someone that loves a great quality Swiss Army knives with. Uh, the plus that is the the great feeling in hand, the natural look, and that that uh, walnut wood 
makes it feel really great in the hand. It's really comfy. So um, this is an excellent EDC blade um, knife that you can bring everywhere with you and you will have no excuses. Well, I'm sure you can find one, but you will have almost no excuses excuses not to have such a small knife with you and this Evo Wood um, it's Evo Wood 17 made by uh, Wenger is excellent in quality and will have uh, the most important tools you may need as I've said before um, now this one is something that I will consider like as a kind of uh, perfect outdoors companion something that you can slip in your pocket because it's light it's not really big and you can have most the most important tools anytime with you out in the woods um, you will yeah I see that one more uh, like a kind of excellent companion for a bigger blade if you only like to have something like um, for example I like to bring with uh, with me my uh, Felkniven Odden fixed blade but this is an excellent companion and this is also something that I could use as a kind of standalone survival knife and that will um, help me in most um, difficult situations and just help me enjoy the outdoors making uh, a fire making you know uh, sausages uh, grilling sausages over the fire in the woods or stuff like that and I will be able to complete pretty much any chores I might uh, encounter um, in outdoors plus they are really classy both of them as I've said the feel is great um, it's razor sharp out of the box the saws both are really efficient um, and they are simple they, they haven't like tons of gadgets on them but they have the most important tools you you might want to have with you uh, at any time so excuse me that could go on a blooper <clears throat> so I was saying that they are both excellent knives um, great for outdoors great for uh, bushcrafters that likes and are looking for something a bit more natural and well, I'm really, really glad I've tested those two because they are excellent for um, most of the task. I'm repeating myself, but I'm really amazed uh, by Wenger's quality. I love those knives and um, really like especially this one, which is uh, a bigger, bigger bladed knife. I'm gonna fall again, sorry. Um, bigger bladed knife, big saw everything you need and this one is perfect for a more um, a smaller knife that you can bring with you anywhere around the world so both are excellent both are really capable knives so if you are interested or if you have any questions about that don't hesitate to ask I will be glad to uh, to answer and thanks for watching thanks for your never-ending support and see you soon guys cheers